So this is our syrup shack. And this is where the soup is actually cooked. Come in here. You can see that this thing, this whole thing is called the evaporator, which is what we use to make our maple syrup. And it starts out by, first of all, you have to come up here and you have to let out the sap, which you get from maple trees, which is basically water and like it's 0.2% content is sugar or 0.02% is sugar. And then as it gets in here, you're going to want to fill it up. So then there's maybe about like this much sap in there. And then to make the maple syrup, you actually have to get a fire going. So you have to come over here and use heat to heat it up to evaporate the water out of the out of the sap to make it just so it's more sugar and less water which will make it sweeter and more like maple syrup so once you get the fire going get the fire going gradually the uh, sap well this end this end is deeper and this end is uh, like shallower <laughs> so as the sap cooks the stuff that like down there it's going to be warmer and here it's not going to be as cool because the fire only goes this far so as you start cooking the, the sap will like start the water will start evaporating all the sap and it'll become the sugar content will become higher and since this is deeper and that's shallower the stuff that's less dense which would be the syrup is going to be moving this way so it's shallower and it starts out over there the stuff that's pretty much sap starts over there and as it it moves along through these channels which gradually get shallower and shallower and it comes over here and as more water evaporates it comes through here and this stuff is pretty much halfway done right here and it keeps going and as I said earlier it's going to get shallower and shallower and as it comes down this way it's going to get warmer which will make it evaporate quicker. We just got done collecting sap and we've been cooking for about 10 minutes so I'll just show you what's going right now. We got the fire started to evaporate the water out of the sap to make it have a higher sugar content before it can turn into syrup. And as you can see, it's starting to boil. It's pretty hot. And over here is the stuff that's going to be more dense, and over here is stuff that's less dense. So if you look over here and you lift this up, it's more of a water type and it's not as dark. And then as you move down, like this stuff will be darker and maybe a little stringier. If you keep moving, this stuff's a lot darker than it is over there. And then this stuff is almost ready to be maple syrup, but it's still pretty watery. And then this stuff right here is the least dense, which is in a little while will be good enough for syrup and you can see that the water is evaporating with all this uh, mist, <laughs> not steam. mist, steam there you go buddy <laughs> and this is what's regulating the, how much sap is coming in, it's flowing and it's, it's boiling so it'll be uh, floating above the water and depending on how much water is in there it will go up and down oh, and which will allow more and less in there. So now it's been about an hour since we've been cooking and they call in here. Fire's still going, you gotta keep going to keep the sap boiling because otherwise it'll settle out and mix all together again. So over here this stuff is starting to actually boil now because it's been in here for a while and you can see last time it was a lighter color, it looked more like sap. And now since the fire is getting back here it's starting to uh, actually turn into some are you filming it? Nope. <laughs> Some form of maple syrup and it's still floating through here. And it's now it's pretty much cooking pretty good over all over the place. Probably in about an hour the stuff over here will be ready and look over here. If you look over here, it's a lot darker now and it's getting a little bit more stringy. And still have a pretty good rate of water coming in here. Sap. Sap, I mean. So, probably about like an hour or two, this will be done. As you, right now, if you look, compare this stuff, which is the least dense, to this, which is the most dense. You can tell a big difference. Can't? Look at this. 
It's a lot darker. You go here, it's a lot lighter. So, we'll probably check up on it again in an hour.